The Yankees are one of the most iconic teams of baseball, winning 27 World Series. But it's been 14 years since their last one. And for a team so iconic and known for winning, that's pretty much unacceptable. That's why over these next 10 seasons, I'm taking over the Yankees. And our goal's pretty simple. Win as many awards, league championships, and World Series trophies as possible. Let's get this thing going into season one. Right now, this Yankees team is not what I want it to be in the slightest. We got Alex Verdugo. Again, I really don't understand why they got him. And left field, the Yankees went out and got one of the biggest stars in baseball. We got Juan Soto. Him in pinstripes still does not feel right to me, so I'm not excited for that. John Carlos Stan, which, God, I hope this guy can come back a little bit. The team doesn't look bad. There are two things that we are going to have to fix, though, coming up pretty soon. One, Anthony Rizzo. My boy is getting $20 million over these next two years, and that's a lot of money for somebody that I really don't know if he's going to do that good. Not to mention he's a 78 overall. And then also, DJ LeMahieu. He's going to be owed a boatload of money over these next couple seasons. And again, I just don't believe in the guy. I mean, third base is a very, very tough position to play, and I feel like as he's getting older, it's not going to be that good. So if I had to guess, DJ is probably going to be off this team in the next couple seasons. Now, there's one more thing that we got to do before we actually get this thing started, and that is going out and getting my boy Yamamoto. 24 years old, 77 overall. We'll see how he does, but the guy's a prospect. Now, there's one more aspect of the takeover that I haven't showed you guys, and that's for a very specific reason, mostly because I don't want to do it, but we got to do it. Here comes the Wheel of Destiny. On this wheel, we got so many things ranging from horrible to very, very good. And at the start of every single season over these next 10 years, I got to take a spin. Hopefully, this is not going to ruin ruin my team. Let's just go ahead and spin it though. Come on. Don't be, just don't be bad. That's all I can care about as there we go. Sign it top closer. That actually works perfectly with what my season one objective is. In season one, my biggest objective is to build up the bullpen. We're going out to the Brewers and getting one of the best closers in baseball, Devin Williams. The Brewers have said that they're open to trading a lot of guys and I feel like Devin Williams is someone that they will actually be willing to trade. So Devin, please tell me. There we go. At the trade line right now, the Yankees are 63 of 42. For a team that finished 82 and 80 last year, this is actually a very good step up. Yo, the Rays and the Orioles are right behind us. DJ LeMahieu over at third base is ranking 23rd in baseball. We got Anthony Rizzo at 21st. We have to fix at least some of this. And the replacement I'm looking at for third base is actually over on the Rangers. And it's for a dude that the Yankees already got rid of. Ezekiel Duran. The guy's got fantastic inning stats, great speed, good fielding. And there we go. DJ Estevan and Willie Calhoun for Ezekiel Duran. Give me that all day. There we are. Now I gotta be real. This is looking a lot better. Where the heck is Volpe though? Don't tell me he's injured. And oh my gosh, we got a lot of injuries. Volpe! Broken ankle. That's absolutely horrible. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get him back by the postseason. I don't really know. But hey, look at this too. Yamamoto and my boy Carlos Rodon both doing good. And the end of season one's proving that the Juan Soto effect is so real. 97 and 65, taking the AL East again, finally. Awards real quick, we got Garrett Cole for the Cy Young, and that's it, okay? But come on, I feel like Juan Soto got snubbed a little bit. He definitely didn't win MVP, but still, my boy did amazing for his first year in New York. Now into the playoffs, we got the Twins coming in. Up to one in the ALDS. Come on, Garrett Cole, finish it off. I know you do horrible in the postseason. I don't know why. At least since he's gotten to New York. In Houston, he was a disgusting cheat code. Channel that back in, Garrett, please. Or not. Lose by one. Oh, my gosh. Nestor, my boy, do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for... Somehow we choke that. Are you kidding me? The Cy Young winning Garrett Cole this year finishes off with a nine postseason ERA, losing us both games in the ALDS. And of course, the Twins won the World Series too. Overall though, even though we got destroyed by the Twins, I still feel like year one was a gigantic success. Now it's time for some big changes though heading into year two. In the first one, Aaron Boone, you're fired, bro. Get out of here. This year in the frenzy, we're only going for two guys. One, Jordan Montgomery. I want to have this guy back in New York. I think him with this new team would be much better than before. And then the other guy, of course, Liam Hendricks, one of my favorites. I got to get the guy. Let's hope that we can get everybody that we're looking for as we already got Jordan Montgomery. I think that's good enough. Let's get on to season two. Season two, here we go. Coming in sixth in rank, 11th in contact, seventh in power, and fourth in pitching. Fourth in pitching, I'm super proud of because that's the one thing we were worried about last year. But unfortunately, it's that time of the year again. So we got a spin from the Wheel of Destiny. Let it be something good again. It gave me a good thing last year. So please continue that with me. Please. Oh my goodness. Trade for an MVP. I know exactly what I'm going for too. I really hope this works. But Cody Bellinger, a former MVP, but he struggled a little bit. But the Cubs last year, fix him up. I'm hoping and praying that he's going to continue this though in New York. We can somehow get him too for this garbage uh -huh. package. I don't know why. But Cody Belger, welcome to New York and this team is getting more and more stacked up. Like this is what I'm talking about when I said we're building up a dynasty team. Let's hope that we can do good. Somehow we only went up two ranks though. So the MLB is not helping us with that ranking. So we got to show them that we're the best. Midway through season two, we had one of the most important things in this entire franchise to do and that's lock up some of our star players. Locking up one Soto on the Supermax. Almost $500 million. We also went out and locked up two of our insane 
insanely good bullpen pieces, Devin Williams and Johnny Lazaya. And then, of course, we had to extend Gliber Torres because he actually impressed me. And we keep building at the end of season two, 102 and 60. One of the best years the Yankees have put out in the last 15 seasons. So I'm incredibly happy with that. Awards now, Deliver Man of the Year, Devin Williams. There we go. Garrett Cole winning back to back signing awards. And MVP, of course, Mike Trout just barely beat out Aaron Judge. Cody Ballinger, amazing year from him, too. One subtle, another godlike year from my boy. And then Aaron Judge as well to go along with it. Come on. And back into the postseason, it's our revenge time versus the Twins in the ALDS. Garrett, I swear if he loses this series as well. Garrett Cole versus Tyler Molly game one. There we go. Five nothing. That's more of what I want to see from Garrett Cole right there. The rest of the series went off easy as we took that 3 1. Now we're going up ALCS versus an incredibly good team, the Texas Rangers. This one I'm definitely more nervous about. But game one, Garrett Cole versus Jacob DeGrom. Lost that by one. Not again, dude. Not again. Jordan Montgomery versus old team with Nathan Ovaldi. Lost that by one as well. Not like this, guys. But we weren't completely out yet as we went back home to Yankee Stadium and took three games at home. Montgomery, come on. Back in Texas. We have to finish this right here, right now. There we go. 13 to 4. World Series bound for the first time since 2009. And of course, we're facing the Braves. Garrett Cole, let's go again. First Max Free game one. Lost that by five. Oh, no. Game two of the World Series. What is going on? And they won two. All right, this game. Game three, Yamamoto, 9.9 .9 ERA. What is going on with you, too? There we go. Won that. Garrett Cole versus Ian Anderson. Won that as well. 2-2. Two -two. Nestor, keep it going. Lost it. All right, now our backs are against the wall. But luckily, we're heading back into Yankee Stadium for game six. Hopefully, we can bring that magic. Oh, Sean Murphy, bro. We were having a pitcher's duel. Sean Murphy with the solo bomb. Let's hope that we can actually come back a little bit. Come on, guys. That's three straight singles. All right, Jordan. Lasagna, get us out of it, please. There we go. And a solo bomb from Anthony Rizzo. Time the game back up. We needed that so desperately. Single. Runner got thrown out, though. My gosh. Aaron Judge. There we are. We took the lead in the bottom of the sixth. Now we just got to hold it. We're extended, too. Juan Soto. Oh, my gosh. Four for four. And we take game six, four to one versus the Braves. Now it's on to the biggest game of our life. Game seven in Yankee Stadium versus the Braves. And to start the game, Gerko was locked in. Going one, two, three in the top of the first. Now we're going up against Alex Boyd. Come on. I swear. If we don't beat this guy up. There we go, Cody. But Austin Riley, two-run home run. I don't like to see that. Immediately giving up the lead. Garrett, let's get it back a little bit. Another solo bomb from Cody Bellinger. Oswald Peraza, come on. Aaron Judge over at third. Please hit him in. Round out. And Devin Williams, three straight singles. Thank goodness for a double play. My goodness. This Yankees team has gotten three hits so far. It's straight up unacceptable. Cody, thank you for the single. First stop, Juan Soto. My boy's PCI is gigantic, too. All we gotta do is get on base. We don't gotta do anything too crazy as never mind. That short porch is helping us out big time. There we go, Juan Soto. Now we got big boy Aaron Judge. Come on, just get on base. Keep it going a little bit. That squeaks through. That's a single. The time runs on first base now. And who the heck is going to be the guy coming up? And we got Anthony Rizzo coming up here to bat. Are you kidding me? Rizzo, all we need is just a little shot down the line as... Never mind. That's going to be going at the center, but that's going to get caught. Got it. Glaber up now. He's going three for 25 so far in the series. We worked it through on count with Glaber Torres. Now it's time to unload if we possibly can. No, no, no. He hit on the ground. He hit on the ground. No, no. And we'd show Game 7 of the World Series at home to the Braves. And my gosh, Oswald Parasic, Libertorius, and Anthony Rizzo all let us down. I'm thinking we're going to need a dedicated DH for next year. And in the offseason, this frenzy is absolutely stacked up. And there's only two guys I'm going for. One, I feel like in the pitching staff, we need one more absolute ace in the rotation. And that's Corbin Burns. If I can get him, we're going to be looking so, so good for next year. And over at first base, we got to have a replacement for either first base or DH. And that guy's got to be Pete Alonso. Let's hope that we can get both those guys. And let's hope that this year is going to be a fantastic year coming up as we already got Corbin Burns. But no, Pete Alonso, 162 over nine years from the Padres. It actually hurts quite a bit. God dang it. In that case, we got to go Josh Bell. What a weird downgrade though. Season three, there we go. First in rank, fourth in contact, seventh of the power, and first in pitching. I told you guys, first in pitching is going to be easy with Corbin Burns. My gosh, this rotation. Cole, Burns, Montgomery, Yamamoto, and Cortez. Come on. The season three will spin coming in right now, and oh no, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going up just a little bit. No, dude. Pretty straightforward. I have to accept the next trade that I get offered no matter what. Please just don't let it be that bad. Uh, guys, it is mid-July and we have not gotten a single trade offer. Are you serious? Not a single team called us the entire first part of the year. Either way, I guess we got lucky. Either that or the game stinks. I'm gonna go with number two, but still. There's one gigantic thing that we gotta do, and that is get rid of Carlos Rodon. My guy's in AAA right now. Ooh, and Cal Raleigh. A switch hitting catcher over here in New York. They worked out before. And we can get him. Come on. We 
we got to do it. Cal, welcome to New York, baby. There we are. Besides that, we're all set. Let's hope the second half is going to be nice to us. And I'd say it was 110 and 52. Making that three straight division titles, awards. What do we got? Corbin Burns for the signing award. Beautiful. And Juan Soto finally for the MVP. It took a while, but my boy finally got it. Also, a little under the radar hero right here. We got Anthony Volpe doing amazing. 314, 22 home runs, and 90 RBIs. For the number eight hole hitter, that is disgusting. I got some high hopes in the postseason. Let's hope that they can actually fulfill those, though. Coming up in the ALDS, we're facing the Rays. And oh my God, Corbin Burns, one and two, please come back. And we got absolutely beat by the Rays. How does this keep happening? Why does our pitching always screw it up? Corbin Burns single-handedly lost us that series as well. This year, we're only going for one upgrade, and that's going to be over at first base, going for Wilmer Flores. This dude has been an absolute killer with the Giants. So if we can get him and actually have the pitchers do good, that'll hopefully bring us our first World Series trophy. Hey, yo, wait a second. Arbitration just hit, so normally I go out and check some of the free agents, and we got Harry Ford, 23 years old, 82 overall, was not offered arbitration. This dude fell in our lap. 250K, get over here. Season four wheel spin. We've done great with the wheel. So now I feel like this is the time where it's going to be bad. No, no, I already know it's bad. Give your left fielder the yips. If you guys don't know what the yips is, it's basically where you forget how to play a certain sport. And of course, our left fielder just happens to be one of the MVPs of this team, Juan Soto. And our boy Juan Soto goes from a 97 overall to 71. Halfway through the year, and luckily, us losing Juan Soto really was not that big of a deal as we're still 69 and 40. We're doing pretty nice out here. And really, the only reason why we're doing good is because we have so much depth around the outfield. But there's one thing I'm worried about in year four, and that's my dude Yamamoto. I guess it's on me, but I was expecting so much more out of Yamamoto. I don't think we need to replace him with anybody, but it's just weird to see that he's got so much hype right now. But in game, he's done horrible for me. I really hope that's not how it goes in real life, though, because I'll be terrible. Despite Juan Soto being bad this year, we still pull off 106 wins. Awards, though, we got nothing. What? How do we get no awards? 106 win team, and we got nothing. Postseason time, I swear, if we choke again, we're gonna be the new Dodgers. I can't have that. Guardians up first, and we sweep them. Beautiful job. LCS now versus the Rangers. We gotta lock it back in. Corbin Burns was Dustin May. Oh my God. And unfortunately, the Rangers' offense is just filled with baseball gods. I'm gonna need to be put in a sane asylum. How are we giving up this many runs? 11, 13, and 14 in three consecutive games. What is happening? Garrett Cole. Oh my God, they scored 11 again. What is... Dude, just lock me up. I don't want to do this anymore. What is that? And look at that. The pitching coach is already fired. I love it. In the free agency, there's a lot of guys here. The cover boy, in my opinion, has a little bit of a boost in this game because I would assume he's coded to be insane. And that's what the guy's been doing in Miami. Averaging about 35 doubles a year, over six triples 40 home runs like he's been insane so all i hope is i can get him and there we go Alrighty, got him we're coming into year five still without a world series that is unacceptable this year we gotta get it done what are we getting for the wheel spin oh my gosh don't be overpaid stop yes there we go and i think we all know who i'm going with i gotta give yamamoto a buff or something and there we are yamamoto goes up from an 86 to a 96 the guy's still only 28 i would love to see a sign award out of him right here and at the end of season five we finish off with 109 wins we had devin williams taking the delivery man of the year we had Corbin Burns taking the signing award. We had Alex Verdugo with a gold glove. And of course, Aaron Judge with an MVP. Also, Yamamoto came in second in the Cy Young. I couldn't be more excited for the postseason. Let's get this thing going. And through the ALDS, we already had our first challenge. Game five again. How does this keep happening? Corbin Burns just get us past. There we go. Beautiful job. On to the Mariners now. And if we win this, we're finally back in the World Series. And throughout the LCS, we struggled a little bit, but we're up three to two. Garrett Cole, make this the last game. And of course, you can't do it. Oh my gosh. Why? Why does our entire pitching staff suck. Luckily, the Yankees get out to the early lead with Cody Bellinger hitting a solo home run. I gotta say, Cody Bellinger always is the guy to come up clutch, as that's two straight doubles off of Jordan Montgomery, and they take the lead. Of course they do. Why can't we have just a little bit of postseason luck? Come on, guys, come back. Finally, in the bottom of the fifth, Alex Verdugo with a double, bringing home Aaron Judge. Now, Anthony Volpe, two guys on, single. There we go. Finally! It took us long enough. And of course, Jordan Montgomery can't hold the lead. Johnny Lasagna, get in there. That's a single, don't. Oh my gosh. I swear, this team is gonna make me have a heart attack. Bases loaded. Aaron Judge could not be better. Fielder's choice. Okay, Verdugo. This team's too expensive to suck like this. But at least we take the lead and give it up immediately. Oh my gosh, dude. And they score another run off of Garrett Crochet. How does this keep happening? Anthony Volpe, you've been three for four. That's a double. Beautiful job. Harry Ford, single. There we go. That's a run in. Duran, double play. Out of all of that double play, Jazz Chisholm, fly up. 
What do we need to do? I'm sick and tired of seeing Garrett Cole screw up postseason appearances for us. So it's time. Angels, good luck. There you go. Next up, Nestor Cortez. He's been amazing for us, but again, he's starting to go down heavily in the attributes. And we need the money to spend this year. So Reds, enjoy him. Now I feel a little bit better. Let's go out and actually get some good pitching. Shane McClanahan, Alexis Diaz, Joe Ryan, Nick Sandlin, and William Contreras. I'm over us doing so bad as Shane McClanahan, 300 million. Yeah, that makes sense. In that case, Nick Lodolo. He's been a little bit up and down, but I still feel like he's going to be okay. Year six, Wilson with our new and improved team. What are we going to be getting? Give it her plus 10. Come on, please. Yes, we got it. I know exactly where I'm going with this one as well. Harry Ford, how are you doing? Plus 10 on him is going to be a game changer for this team. And Harry Ford goes all the way up to a 96 overall. This is the team I'm looking for. Going 108 and 54. And look at that. Yamamoto getting his first Cy Young Award. And Aaron Judge going back to back in the MVPs. Let's see how we do versus the Rangers. Oh, Yamamoto game one. Won that one. Joe Ryan game two versus Dustin May. Lost that one by five. Nick Lodolo, first postseason appearance. No pressure. Won that eight to three. Then Corbin Burns. There we go. Going on to the LCS now versus the Guardians. And through the LCS, we're up three to two versus the Guardians once again. Yamamoto, please. There we are. Finally. Back to the World Series. It took so long, but we're here. It's not going to be easy though, because of course we're going versus the Dodgers. Yamamoto versus Shohei Otani. Won that one seven to one. Joe Ryan versus Bobby Miller. Lost that. Okay. Nick Lodolo versus Walker Bueller. Lost that by one, of course. Corbin Burns versus Patrick Sandoval. There we are. Two to Luis Gill versus Ryan. Please, Luis, just clutch up. <laughs> Why? Why would they ever clutch up? Game six, we got Yamamoto versus Shohei. And please just come out on top. Harry Ford, good choice. Wilmer, guys, come on. How are we so consistent like this? There we go, Juan, finally. But we finally did it as Yamamoto is about to mess this up, but he's gone seven strong. I gotta give it up. Let's get to game seven. Let's finally win ourselves a ring. Corbin Burns going up game seven. There's nobody that I have more confidence in than him. He's done great as that's three straight walks into a double. Yo, this is a freaking joke. Go the home run though for Jazz. We're coming back a little bit. Let's go. Two guys on the corners. Duran right here. Pop up. Come on, guys. Where's the clutch? And Garrett Crochet, that's two walks. You've already given up two runs. Please, bases juice. No, not like this. How? I'm gonna go nuts. Oh my gosh, and Alexis Diaz, two runs in. Eight to two. We keep beating ourselves. Oh my God. And we're quite literally going all out this year. Ellie De La Cruz and Gunnar Henderson, along with Trevor Steffen and Alex Vessia. There is no way we can consistently choke with this team now. And after three short weeks, we got every single person that we were looking for. Year seven, I'm sure you guys can tell, but oh my gosh, I'm getting so annoyed with this. Look at how good we've been doing. And let's get the year going after the wheel spin. What are we going to get? Wheel, please don't let it be too bad. Oh no, no. Come on, trade your best relief pitcher. Unfortunately, our best relief pitcher is Devin Williams, and he's done fantastic for us out in New York. And for him, we're going to be able to get the prospect Phil Eldridge. In Miami, the guys had a career 2.51. So you know what, Phil? Let's try you out. Let's see how you do. July 16th right now, and we got one big problem. Luis Gill, typically our number five guy, who's been pretty good, is posting up this year a 5.62. My boy's dropping the ball, so we cannot have that. And the number five guy that I'm looking for is Bryce Miller. A career 3.88, plus he's done good in the postseason because I've seen it. So Bryce, welcome to the team, and you are now slotted at number five. I like it. Year seven, it's getting harder and harder to celebrate these victories, but 110 wins and 52 losses. Awards, we got Cy Award going to Yamamoto once again. Got Juan Soto back with the Hank Aaron Award, and we got Juan Soto MVP. But in the start of the postseason, we experienced more heartbreak. Three games sweep to the freaking Guardians. Um, no. I'm done. I'm actually done, dude. I'm freaking done. And Yamamoto's leaving us for the Diamondbacks this year. And with Yamamoto's money, I'm going out to first base and getting Nolan. We don't even need more offense, but we might as well get it because if the pitches are going to suck, we need an offense that can absolutely carry this entire team. Will, what are you going to give me this time? What is it going to be? I see Max out. I like it. What is that? Max out a random player. Finally. Who the heck is going to be the guy getting maxed out in three, two, one? We got Cody Bellinger. 34-year-old Cody Bellinger are getting all maxed. New and improved Cody Bellinger for year eight. This dude better win the MVP. And we better win the freaking World Series because we are a dynasty team. I know we're good enough. And us constantly underperforming is driving me crazy. I don't even want to get excited, but 129 wins. Completely shattering the LB win record. We literally became the greatest team in baseball history this year. If we lose in the ALDS, I swear, we're going through that wall. Cody Bellinger though with the Hank Aaron Award and of course the MVP. My goodness. I mean, I'm just going to scroll through this real quick just to show you guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, dude, this team is so broken. Let's see how we do in the postseason. Angels up first the ALDS, and we easily take them 3-1. Astros up now, and they prove to be no match as we take them 4-2. Back to the World Series, finally, versus the stupid Dodgers. 7-0. There we go. Finally, somebody's pitching in the postseason. Joe Ryan, Patrick Sandoval. There we go. 2-0. Nick Lodolo, also another guy pitching the postseason. Let's go, baby. 3-0. I'm going in with Juan Soto. Let's get this ring. Come on. Top of the first, we already got two guys on that's smacked in the line, but it's 
not going to be good enough. If the pitching can hold on to this, I'm going to be the happiest dude of all time. Oh, Juan Soto! Dead center field in Dodger Stadium. Let him know. We've had enough heartbreak in this stupid stadium. Bottom of the night, two outs. Let it come to us. Come on, one. This is why you stay with the Yankees. Right here, make the catch. Yes! But we finally got a diner. It only took the greatest MLB team in history. Finally, the World Series trophies here. Look at that. Nolan for the World Series MVP and Nolan for the playoff MVP. This actually makes me so happy. Finally, something's worked out. Year nine, Will Spin. Let's go back to back. Will, what are you going to give me this time? What do we got coming in? Trade of my choice. Okay. Okay, Corbin Burns has been amazing for us, but he is 36 years old and he's now down to an 81 overall. So let's go out and try to find a good replacement. And for Corbin Burns, we're going with Brett. Brett Shabazian, fantastic last name. Let's hope he's going to be good enough for us. Let's get to the end of the year. Unfortunately, the team at the end of the year is not going to be breaking any records, but still 108 and 54. I mean, come on. So good all the way through and Grayson wins a sighing award. Also look at Cody coming in second in the MVP, but it doesn't matter. LDS versus the Blue Jays. And we're already 2-1 Joe Ryan. Okay, going 2-2. Grace Rodriguez, come on. Okay, we made it to your 10. Will spin, what are you going to give me? Don't do this to me again. Oh my gosh, wait, no. Trade best relief pitcher, of course. And our best relief pitcher is Phil. Come on, I wanted to keep Phil. We're going to go ahead and replace him with Mac, and there's our trade. The end of year 10, 104 and 58. Staying consistent with 100 plus wins, but for the first time, we're in the wild card. But we tied the Blue Jays, wow. Awards real quick, another Cy Young, Grace Rodriguez, and Jess Chisholm with the MVP. Wild card coming up real quick, Grace Rodriguez versus Chase. Won that one, Brett, come on. Okay, lost it by one. Are you serious? Nick Lodolo. Come on, baby. There we go. ALDS versus the Blue Jays now. And we're down one, two. No, no. Finishing just how we started choking in the stupid playoffs. The awards for our entire team over these 10 seasons. We won nine signing awards. That right there is unheard of. That's mentioned Grace Rodriguez going three straight. Won six MVP awards out of the 10 years. Two delivery men of the years, two Hank Aaron awards, and one gold glove. Now for the trophies. We won nine straight AL East titles. Won three American League championships. Went to the World Series three times and won it once. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe down below and be sure to check out this video right here because I know you'll love it.